Hey everyone, this is Vicki with Messy Table Studio. I have a flip through today of a book that I made, oh I didn't put a date on it, um, several years ago for my husband for Valentine's Day and I never gave it to him. Because <laughs> I knew that he would just give it back to me and so I just skipped the middle part. <laughs> Alright, so this is all scraps. There's nothing expensive in here. I, I imagine this little chipboard heart costs more than anything else on here because I just made this basically a junk pocketbook. This is a pocketbook. The idea originated from Carla at Cagefish. I will put the link down below in the description box so that you can see how she made it. She did it with a hop, um, in a hop with uh, for Shannon Green several years ago and I fell in love with the whole concept. I've made a bazillion of these books and I just love them. Alright, so like I was saying, this is not free because I, I had to buy the paint and all the stuff to do it with, but for the most part, I didn't spend any money on the initial outlay for this because I already had all the supplies, and we all know we do, okay? So I carved the stamp, that's the bullet's eye stamp on the back, I carved that and stamped it on here. And really, this was not meant to be a Valentine's Day thing. I think it was meant for a travel journal because the inside paper is scrapbook paper that I made the pockets out of, and they're all maps from a map scrapbook tablet. So, you know, went from one thing and turned into something else. All right, so everything in here is from a magazine, and then I backed a lot of them with white cardstock scraps that I had. I went through my scraps, and I didn't want to cut up nice wonderful pieces of um, white cardstock so I dug through the drawer that I keep that has nothing but my white cardstock in it leftover pieces and found pieces and just glued the piece from the magazine onto that piece um, this all of this came from a magazine I think it was an art journaling magazine and some kind of a country sampler magazine you see those kind of things up near the cash register at the grocery store this, I don't know why I glued the word love upside down. That was just plum silly. I cannot explain it, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> there are three signatures in this, all sewn with the three-hole pamphlet stitch. This is cut from a magazine where, this looks like these are red post-it notes, and at the bottom of every post-it note, they wrote the word love, and then they arranged them to form the shape of a heart. I just thought it was so cute. It was very clever. This came out of a magazine, and it was too large to fit in here, the picture itself. So what I did was I cut it apart and did some scissor editing to it. I cut the little wagon out, cut the words off the page, and kind of arranged them on here to make it look like this is the way it actually was. I colored in the red hearts, colored in the wagon, did some coloring like all over it to change the way it looked. It says, you have my heart. No, I did not poke a hole in it. And I'm not one that likes a lot of threads and fibers and stuff springing out everywhere all over my stuff. So that's why everything looks just basically clean. And I know for some of you, horribly boring. All right, this one, this pocket didn't have, in, like I said, this was meant to be, I guess, some kind of a travel thing because all these are matte pages so they're white on the back I didn't use two-sided paper and to cover up the white on the back I took scrapbook paper again that I had on hand and found one that had hearts on it and cut off pieces of it and shoved it in there and kind of glued it it doesn't go all the way to the end here I was trying to cover up stuff and that's my way of cheating <laughs> this was a red heart that came out of a magazine I used jelly roll pin on it doodled it and then found the word love in my um, little word box and glued it on there. Can you see it okay? I'm sorry. The camera takes a couple of seconds when you move too fast to focus. All right. There's that one. Again, this came out of a magazine and it looks scribbly. And I love how it looks all scribbly. Found the word always, glued it on there, and of course I backed it, sorry, with the white cardstock on the back. Found some other words and found the word kind and heart and just glued that on the side. This one says, he loves me, he loves me not. 
I don't know where I got these words from, but I thought they were really cool. I cut them out, glued them on here, and after I did, I was like, oh, oh, it's not going to be white and black, and oh. So I took some pink scrapbook paper, kind of shoved it in there, and, you know, give it a little more color. These two things right here came from an advertisement for a jewelry store. These are supposed to be sterling silver hearts. I cut them out, put them on the back of white cardstock, and I, oh, sorry, thought they would be appropriate for the loves me, loves me not. This is from a Dove candy ad. There were two, two candies in the magazine. I cut them both out. I glued one down. I don't know why. And then the other one I put on cardstock. And then I just put the word sweets because this is candy. Here are apples. I think they were in some kind of a heart ad for heart health. And they were heart shaped. And I really liked them. Thought they were cute. Again, took that same heart scrapbook paper. Glued it on white cardstock that was left over, put a little ink around the edge, slipped it in here, put the extra heart on the page there. These are random magazine pages. This one's coming unglued. Again, this is just pink leftover pink cardstock I got out of, I mean pink scrapbook paper I got out of my scrapbook paper and um, just glued it in the back so it would break up the white. This, this thing and this thing came off the same page. Same page. I glued this one on cardstock, just glued that on there. This one, I gave a little more thought to. I found this picture on Pinterest and I really liked it. So I took some white cardstock, painted it yellow, stamped on it. Then I painted the red heart, outlined it with a black marker, and the words on it, the word around it says, Music makes my heart sing. And you just keep writing it all around the outside edge. I really like the way that looked. This one's a mishmash of things. That says Soulmate. There again is that brown heart-shaped paper. This came off of these two. You're going to see these here again in a minute, but they came off a full sheet of scrapbook paper. It said nothing but I love you, I love you, I love you. And then I found the word forever in a magazine, and I wrote on here, I, or I, have, I glued these on here, I love you, I love you forever, I love you, I love you. These came off of a card, I think, that someone sent me. Or maybe they were scrapbook paper. I'm not really sure because they feel kind of flimsy. So maybe, no, maybe they weren't from a card. Anyway, they have white on the back of them. I put blue ink around here because that's kind of a nice color, complimentary color because there's blue in here. And I found the words off of uh, Tim Holtz, those word stickers, smitten. And I got the one, Our Hearts. Just stuck both these in here. This one, there's that I love you paper where it says I love you, I love you, I love you. Cut a little piece off of that and shoved it in there to hide the fact that it was a white background. This tag was, I'm not really sure where I got this from, honestly. I don't know if this came from a magazine or where it came from. But it says antique on it. And it was kind of sepia colored. And it was just this little girl standing there. And she's holding some kind of a flower arrangement so I did little flowers in her head with the red Posca, did some hearts, colored in the flower heads. I think they were roses, tulips or roses, one of the two. And, you know, did the red around it, and that's it. This one is a cookie. There was some kind of thing in there for cookie cutters, and they showed somebody baked cookies. And this is the actual picture of a cookie that somebody baked. But I thought it was cute, and you really couldn't tell it's a cookie. Have and hold. This is uh, Somebody wrote this on a cork board, so this is like a cork board in the background, and then they stamped the words have and hold on it. This is just on scrap leftover jelly print paper that was pink. Put it on cardstock, glued all the other stuff on. This came out of a magazine, but I, what I really liked about it, it is a pendant. And you can see the gold, I mean gold, the silver chain here. And it's a heart, and then somebody doodled around the heart on the pendant. I thought that was lovely. And again, see, look, it's an ad for something, because that's packaging on the back. I just thought it was very cool. Mm -hmm. This one is another cookie. That's a Linzer cookie where they take the they cut the bottom part out 
and oh well usually the top the the bottom part is solid then they take jelly and put it on there and then they take the top part and they cut a little section of it out and smash it onto the bottom and they are fabulous cookies but this is the top part to the cookie and I cut out the inside that showed the jelly in the middle and then glued it on paper that I had that said something about love and it was some kind of scrapbook paper and then I had extra scrapbook paper again just glued it in there to break up the white and back here is my stash these are cookies, pictures of cookies from the magazine. And I cut them out intending to use all of them and didn't. Now, there's a piece of scrapbook paper. And here's another one. This was the one that the Linzer cookie was glued onto. I had a hole poked in it from something else. This is just leftover scrap stuff. This stuff was just in containers for me. These are my medium size, how I categorize my... Um, prints is medium, small, medium, and large. And I just tucked it in the back. Had a piece of Korean book page. Took um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Rubbed it all over the paper. Then found the word love and then glued it on the back. And that's it. So there you go. This is, this is something cute to think about doing for somebody for Valentine's Day that you can do from scraps that you have on hand and not really spend any money, but it's an, a cute little gift. All right, so that's it. That's my flip through. I'm going to have another flip through again of a junk journal, and that will be later this month. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye. <laughs>